Hey guys, this is homework help for series circuits problems, also known as holiday lights worksheet. It would be a good idea to watch the series circuits notes or go through those notes before you do these problems. Um, and right here it says draw the circuit diagram for each problem. It's definitely going to be helpful, so it's good to know what circuit diagrams should look like. There's a note video for that. And then last but not least, it would be super helpful to have your formula sheet out in front of you because there are quite a few series uh, formulas that would be really helpful to refer to. Okay, so let's look at number one. We have a 24 volt battery. So remember that the symbol for a battery are two parallel lines. The battery is connected to two resistors and resistors, uh, the symbol for resistors is a zigzag line. I'm going to go ahead and label them. So this first one was 250 ohms. I'm going to call that R1. The second was 150 ohms. I'm going to call that R2. And then I'm going to go ahead and just tack on 24 volts to help me remember. Um, okay, so once we've got a picture, we can take a look at letter B. What is the equivalent resistance of the circuit? So remember that equivalent resistance is the same thing as total resistance. Most problems will ask you for equivalent, but they're just saying what's the total resistance for the whole circuit. And so we're going to symbolize that with R and a little subscript T. If you look at your series formulas, you see that the formula for equivalent resistance is RT equals R1 plus R2. Your formulas, I think, say plus R3 dot dot dot. That just means add as many resistors as there are in the problem. So in this case, we have two resistors. We're just going to add the two up. Letter C says, what is the current through the circuit? So C, uh, or current, is going to be I equals V over RT. Notice your formula sheet specifically says RT and not just an R or R1, R2. Current is the same everywhere in series, and so it's really important uh, to use RT and not just any random resistor. And then once you know the current, you can do letter D, which asks for voltage drop. So the formula on your sheet for that is VN equals I times RN. The N just is the number of a resistor. It's specifying the resistor. So if you want to find the voltage that's being used by resistor 1, you would say V1 equals I times R1. You're going to use the answer that you got to letter C for I, and then you're going to use the amount of resistance for R1 for R1 and multiply those. And then voltage drop for R2 would be V2 equals I times R2. Use the same I because current is the same everywhere in series, but sub in the resistance for R2 for that one. Number two is a little bit more of a puzzle. I've gone ahead and drawn it out for you. So you've got 10 resistors in series, meaning they're all on one long line. They're attached to a 120 volt outlet. So I'm showing that as my voltage source right here. Um, and then it tells you that the current of the bulbs is 0.06. So if I was going to take an ammeter and I test the current right here, I would solve, or I would find that current is 0.06 amps. It'd be the same if I tested it here. or here, anywhere that you tested this current would be 0 0.06 amps. Okay, so letter B says, what is the equivalent resistance of the circuit? Well, uh, we can't use our regular RT formula because we don't know what R1, R2, R3, etc. are. However, we know I, right, they gave us the current. We know V because they gave us the, the uh, outlet voltage source. Um, so let's use our current formula, our Ohm's law formula, to solve for RT. Okay, so I was 120 volts. Nope, just kidding, sorry. I was 0 0.06 amps. 
V is 120 volts. I'm looking for RT. I remember my trick that I'm going to switch places with these. If ever I'm finding whatever's on the bottom of the line, so I'm going to do 120 volts divided by 0.06 amps, and that gives me a total resistance of 2,000 ohms. Okay, letter C says what is the resistance of each bulb? Well, for that part, it's important to go back and see that we have 10 bulbs with equal resistances. And so to solve for that one, I'm just going to do 2,000 divided by 10, right? And each, uh, each bulb would have a resistance of 200 ohms. And then for letter D, uh, again, the reminder for voltage drop is this is your equation, Vn equals I times Rn. So for each one, you're going to use 0 0.06 for I, and then you're going to use uh, 200 for Rn, and all the, the voltage will be split up evenly across this chain since all of the resistors are also equal. The last thing to look at is on the back, number four, um, is more conceptual questions. So my hint to you on that one is to use the equations to help you figure out the answers. For example, on A, if the resistance of one of the resistors increases, how will the series resistance change? Well, series resistance is RT. So think about the RT equation. If you increase one of those R1 or R2 in that equation, what will happen to the answer? Okay, and then if the RT is greater, think about the Ohm's Law equation to figure out what happens to the current. If RT goes up, what happens to I? And then for letter C, just think about what you know about series circuits. Um, does resistance affect the total voltage. Hope that helps. As always, uh, please reach out if you have questions.